Yeah. Can you talk to me a little bit, Glory, about this graduation today? This is a graduating as a helper as a through helper. the Merrick Workforce Development Program. Yes, what does that say about you? What, what what can you now be hired to do? Oh, be more working on production, which now I'm a little bit more familiar with the tools, with the type of uh, screws one has to use for the particular job. Um, so I'll be able to identify what is needed to complete my work, depending on what it is. Rather, it's the uh, she rock ceiling framing or framing walls, framing columns, framing uh, shell spaces, the shaft walls. The shaft walls and all that is different equipment, different material, different screws. So that's And you'll be making more of those decisions now. You'll be evaluating instead of somebody just telling you which just telling material. You, I basically they give my uh, foreman now tells me, okay, Gloria, this is what you're going to do. I'll be more I'm like, I don't have to sit there and say, okay, what do I need? I already already know what I need to go get, get all my tools and everything ready so I can start working. And she has been doing a really good job from the beginning. I, I mean, I was very surprised when I saw Gloria using the computer, using the tablet, reading the blueprints, and taking care about some of the layout for, I mean, layout in the floor and layout for the ceilings. And I was very glad to see Gloria doing those things. Uh, well, thanks to her coaches and foremen, Luis Espiria, yes. David McMillan, and Edmundo Costilla. They had a lot of, they you know, a lot to do to with that. With I them. mean, they've been doing a really good job. And, of course, she is capable of uh, retaining the knowledge, which is a very good, good thing and very, very important for all the new trainees, all the new employees, because this is the only way they can... We can prove learn. everybody wrong and show everybody they can handle And then we can learn the people things. who are coming in as well. You know, being me, being fresh, I think I understand someone who is come, barely coming in because I know their struggles, rather than someone who has senior, they're like, this is common sense. I'm like, no, it's not common sense. Right. I'll take care of them. I'll take care of them. <laughs> <laughs> Something that you've been doing for 20 years, it seems obvious, yes. but not yes. to the new it, people. It is, yeah. it is very, very different whenever... We, the people with experience, talk about all these different things because as soon as we hear different names, different things, we already know what it, whatever he's talking about. But it's a totally different thing whenever we say the same things to somebody new because they need to work and get familiar with all the process. I mean, uh, the names, the different sizes, the different uses, uh, and the techniques, the techniques to install all these uh, different tools and, and equipment. So it is different, but that's what we're here for. Whenever they need help, all they need is as somebody. I'm here every day. She can. I mean, even if I'm not there on the job, she knows she can. She can call me call anytime, any day. So if you ever have questions, there's always somebody that you know you can ask. We're always available, and anytime they need help, uh, even in a personal level, I mean, we try to help as much as we can. Us with the coaches, myself and the foreman, but whenever they need uh, uh, personal help, I mean, uh, I mean, mentorship and coaching is kind of the same thing. So we have to do as much as we can to make sure these ladies and the other guys advance and complete all the levels successfully. So uh, these ladies have been doing a really good job too. That's the reason why they're here. Uh, Again, the basic level is the first year, and uh, as soon as they show the energy and uh, willingness to, to work with different people, with different uh, formats, uh, without getting in trouble for personal reasons or bad attitude, I mean, the, the opportunity is there to, to uh, take it and, and enjoy it. So, I'm super curious because you, we don't often associate women with jobs in construction. And how did each of you become interested in pursuing construction jobs? I want to try something different. I like it. Very good. Well, might give opportunity to everybody. And I really, what I, I really just say about the personnel, they really care to us. What a thing I would really like about our company is they say we are a family, and it's true. I have the experience. I've been part of that. How did you hear about construction or think uh, it might be something you wanted to try? I always found that interesting. I like a challenge. It's, it's a challenge because it's supposedly a men's job. But once you see a woman actually doing the hard job, it, it surprises everybody. But 
it's proof that we can do it too. That's great. Caleb, you just uh, graduated from the Merrick Helper program. What does that mean for you with your job now? Well, right now that just means uh, I continue working, uh, aiming toward my goal of becoming a superintendent in Merrick, uh, and just keep moving up the ladder and hope for the best. How long have you been here at Merrick? Now I've been here about one year, so, I, and I've really enjoyed it. Did I hear in the ceremony that you used to work in concrete? Yes, ma'am. I worked in a, I worked for a concrete company in Las Vegas for about four months, and it was good. And so that industry. got you interested in the construction industry? Yes, ma'am. Uh, before that, I never dreamed I would be doing construction or in, enjoy it as much as I do. So you don't have family in construction or anything like that? My father is a, actually a superintendent. Oh, so you are, contract. now you're following in his footsteps. Yes, ma'am. That's what I hope to do. Uh, What's your right specialty? Now I work for the drywall department. I frame the walls and put the sheetrock on it. And I also know how to build acoustical ceilings and things like that. And what's your favorite part about working in this business? My favorite part is being able to go back afterwards and see the finished product. Uh, being able to look at everything I've done and say, wow, that turned out really beautiful. It just gives you a good feeling.